face. Before we get started on the actual video, you guys can probably tell that I've been doing a little bit of decorating. I am fully aware though that every other person who seems to have either this bed or this duvet from Ikea. I didn't know that and then I made the video and everyone said that they had it so I haven't done an empties video in a long 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 time last time I did an empties video I ended up missing out a few items I've got a massive box of stuff to show you I'm going to start off with something that I feel like is very in keeping with this time of the year I think I got this last November Spiced Pumpkin Shower Gel from Body Shop this stuff is so good it smells amazing and I really hope they get it in again this year although I am in a phase of trying out lots of Lush products at the moment so I probably won't buy any shower gels anytime soon I've got another body shop shower gel and it's a pink grapefruit one like I said I really like the body shop shower gels I do think six pounds is quite a lot but then they do last a long time a few times a year they have sales on and you can get these for like one or two pounds really lovely scented shower gels yet once you get out of the shower it doesn't cling onto your body so much so that you can enjoy a really nice smelling shower but then get out, dry yourself and then put a perfume on and it won't affect the smell of the perfume. I've got another thing from the body shop and that's the watermelon body lotion. When I first got this and used it for the first time I was like oh no I hate the smell. I wouldn't buy this again although I'm smelling it now and it's almost nostalgic to me and now I kind of like the smell but initially I absolutely hated the smell so I probably wouldn't buy the watermelon body lotion again plus it's not that moisturising this is my first Lush product that I've fully used up and it's the Dirty Shaving Cream now until I did my Lush haul I didn't realise that this is actually more targeted at men but a lot of women do buy it as well it's a superb shaving cream with oat milk to cool and calm safflower oil to moisturize and honey to soothe you just get some of this on your hands and if you're shaving your underarms just wipe it under your underarms just like you would a gel and then you just shave like normal now i've also got the print shaving gel in the bigger pot and i absolutely adore that that is something that i will buy over and over again so the dirty shaving cream compared to the prince one is nothing like this is rubbish compared to the Prince one but if I'm not comparing this is still nice it still moisturizes your skin it still leaves it feeling smooth and moisturized but it doesn't feel too great when you're shaving Doug was actually the first one to use this so from a guy's point of view he used it to shave his face and he said that he didn't enjoy really shaving with it he also said that it didn't make his skin feel moisturised afterwards either now I feel like my skin does feel moisturised after I use this but he said it doesn't and because this is targeted at men I probably wouldn't go for the dirty cream next couple of things are some mascaras I've got a waterproof mascara from Topshop and a volume lash mascara from Topshop I love this volume lash mascara I always buy Topshop mascaras they're just really really good and they're about £8 they last me ages and this waterproof mascara is really really good as well next thing is something I was really excited about trying and it's the Nivea in shower body moisturizer and on the back it says how to use it and it says use your normal shower product and rinse off apply this in shower body moisture while still in the shower and then rinse it off and then get out of the shower dry yourself and get dressed and go the product itself is really really good I really enjoyed using this it is a little bit annoying that you have to do like two things in the shower and it's not just a shower gel and a moisturizing one but I didn't mind too much it just meant that I just didn't moisturize when I got out of the shower this I got I think at an event about a year and a half ago and it's the Paul Mitchell moisture mist it's basically a hydrating spray and you just like spritz it on your hair and it hydrates it I think that's what it's meant to do I wouldn't say this is like a must-have product it smells good and is a guess a good product but I feel like it's a bit of a waste of money like I wouldn't go out and buy it again if someone was to give it to me I'd happily use it next is this Mark Hill holiday hair beach to bar dry shampoo I always get this when I go on holiday I do really love the smell of the Mark Hill stuff but I think that's just because I've been using it for so long I honestly think Batiste is a better dry shampoo though got some shampoos and conditioners to share with you first are these Phil Smith bombshell shampoos for blonde radiance this has chamomile extract in like a lot of blonde conditioners do for natural coloured or highlighted blonde hair it's meant to kind of brighten your hair I don't think it did they did smell nice and they did leave my hair feeling nice but I probably wouldn't buy these again because I love my Aussie products too much something that I used way back last summer and then I kind of stopped using it and then I just wanted to finish it off so I just made sure I just used it all up. It's the John Frieda Sheer Blonde Colour Renew Tone Correcting Conditioner. I think this is for colour treated hair and it's basically like a purple shampoo. I didn't really notice the difference in my hair because the, 
this part of my hair, just this bit here, is bleached. I didn't think it made the ends of my hair any blonder or corrected the tone that much. Now the shampoo and conditioner, and I think I mentioned these before, so I'm going to really quickly say what they are. Miracle Moist Conditioner for hair that's dry, damaged or a bit unhappy by Aussie. I continuously buy this, I think I've lost count of how many times I've repurchased this shampoo and conditioner. They leave your hair nice and moisturised and it helps with frizz and it doesn't make your hair feel greasy even though it's a product that's meant to moisturise your hair. Next thing is the Garnier Simple Essentials 2-in-1 Soothing Makeup Remover. I've mentioned this a zillion times. It has like a blue bit here and then like the cleansing water here and you shake it together. You put it on a cotton pad and wipe your makeup off. I absolutely love this makeup remover but like I said I mentioned it before so I'm not going to bang on about it. I have mentioned this in previous videos. I've got another mascara here, it's the Louise Grey Mascara for Topshop. It was just like the other mascaras really. The wand is slightly more straight but like I said Topshop mascaras are really good, I really like them. But they don't have this anymore because it was only like a seasonal thing when they were doing stuff with Louise Grey. Another thing that I've been repurchasing for probably the last seven years and that's the number seven Perfect Light Loose Powder in Translucent. I love this stuff, I use this to set my foundation and my concealer. Another thing that I repurchase constantly, it's the Extremely Gentle Cleanser and Gentle Toner by Aven. Love this stuff, they're a little bit pricey but they are so worth it and I get mine in boots. Next product is by Liz Earl, Super Skin Moisturiser, Naturally Active Ingredients, Cranberry Seed Oil, Rosehip Oil, Borage Oil, Borage Oil, and Natural Vitamin E, Soothes and Plumps for Rejuvenated Looking Skin. It smells pretty nice because it's quite neutral, it doesn't have a scent to it. It's like all natural and it's got no perfumes in it. I really, really, really liked this. I felt like it did exactly what it said on the pot. I would probably more than happily buy this again. Last couple of bits, got my Revlon Colour Stay Foundation in 150 buff for normal to dry skin. I get it in the second to lightest colour because it's got a warmer undertone and the lighter shade has a cooler undertone, it looks way too pinky on my skin. The last thing is another moisturiser and it's by Aven. Unlike the cleansers and toners, I am really really disappointed by this product. This is the Rich Hydrating Cream. I got two, I got this one and then I got the same one but with the SPF 20 in it. So I wanted one with an SPF in for the day and then I thought there's no point in wearing a moisturiser with an SPF in, just go to bed. So when I take my makeup off and cleanse and tone my face in the night, I would put this on. And I didn't feel like this did any wonders to my skin. If anything, it just made it worse. And I feel like I'm still struggling with my skin from this. It could have just been a coincidence, but I felt like this broke me out. So I just used it all up and now I'm never going to buy it again. Like, I didn't want to waste it because it was so expensive, but yeah, I definitely don't recommend it. Cleansers and toners recommend, the moisturisers I don't. So I hope you find this video helpful on maybe some products that you might want to try out. And I will see you in my next one. Bye! Thank <laughs> you.